What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here and like myself all about some mill sims, tactical shooters, and history based gaming, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also hit that little bell so you don't miss a video because we're giving away a steam key at the end of every week. And this week we're giving away Beyond the Wire. Pretty much as this video is going up, Beyond the Wire is just now coming off of a free weekend and a big sale. If you didn't get a chance to purchase the game during the sale, purchase it at full price. It's worth every penny. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to use the rifle grenade. Hone these skills, and I assure you, you will be a thorn in any enemy's side. So first things first, how to aim this bad boy. There is no nifty little range finder or anything like that to make it easier for you. You just got to learn from trial and error. But for a little tip, right where the end of your barrel is, just a little to the left is where your round's going to land. Now, depending on how far the enemy is away, you're going to want to lift up that barrel a little bit. We'll see more through the video. But for this guy, in around about 50 meters in front of you, you just put that barrel right where the enemy is, and that round is going to land a second and a half later right to the left of that barrel. Another thing to keep in mind is, I could have very easily hit that fence there. Well, that all comes with practice and experience. I knew better to just lift just a little more higher and kind of put it behind him so I could get over that fence. Also, if you're a grenadier and have the ability to get some elevation, it may be dangerous because you're kind of broadcasting yourself to the whole map, but it also can be very advantageous. It takes a bold man to be an aggressive grenadier. I pulled the trigger a little quick there thinking they were coming on this side of the fence. You always want to catch more than one enemy grouped up together. Why kill just one guy when you can kill three or four? You'll see later in the video, I'll sit there and wait for the shot sometimes, hoping to get a whole group of them together. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, no worries, movie. It was a damn good shot, though, I will say. I just, I, I guess I uh, confused the blue for dark green. Thanks, man. Well, if that is an arty support getting up just in time. Oh, come on. Fucking piece of shit. Artie's tearing him up. Artie is tearing him up. <laughs> There's an officer that slipped through. I got him. Oh, f friendly fire, man. I was in the perfect spot. So as the French, of course I'm Grenadier, we are on the southern part of the Fries map fighting for that little bridge and island area. No need to say it's an all night slobber knocker. Pay attention, there'll be a few little tips to learn in this scenario. Hunter down, boys. Johnson, no! God, how'd you get so muddy? The battlefield can get hectic. There can be tons of smoke and things to block your view. Don't be afraid to blind fire. If you feel an enemy's over there, shoot. Which comes my next tip. Always ask for riflemen to put down more ammo. There's plenty of ammo to be spammed. Every rifleman has a box of ammo. Where's the ammo box? Hey, riflemen. Riflemen, throw down your ammo. 
don't be shy. A lot of the times, riflemen will never put down their ammo unless they're told. A good general thumb is kind of at the start of the match is tell your rifleman, hey man, whenever you spawn at a rally, just put down the ammo next to there. That way it's better than not having it at all. I need a medic. Where's the medic? Rifleman, rifleman, throw your uh, ammo down. Rifleman, throw your ammo down. Flanking. Well, this goes for any class. Flanking is probably one of the biggest, most useful strategies in any of these kind of games. Now, I was going on a solo flank, so of course I asked my squad leader for permission. And being Grenadier, I just wanted to kind of get in the side of them and cause as much chaos as possible. Here you see I go for like a hundred meter plus shot. And there is no real way to do this, except kind of like a paintball. You will shoot your first round, and subjective to where it goes, you then make altercations to your shot. So I'll shoot my first round, keeping my mouse as still as possible, and then once it lands, I can see it needs to go a bit further. Pretty simple. We had the enemy somewhat on their heels. After I was team killed, I joined the rest of my team for a full frontal across the bridge. Come on, take J, take J. Now before we wrap things up, I want to leave you guys with a special clip. Don't ask me exactly how this happened. I'm going to fork this over to good old luck.
They are heavy yeah, in the south, probably. heavy on the south flank. Sometimes, knowing all the strategies and tactics in the world won't help you like a good old streak of good luck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to give a special shout out to my channel members and Patreons, the Millsimp Minions. We got three tiers if you'd like to help out and support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. If you're not in a position to support the channel monetarily, that's cool too, man. Just keep liking, subscribing, commenting. It all helps the YouTube algorithm and helps out the channel more than you know. We're so close to 1,500 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We've been giving away a Steam key once a week for the past half a year. Let's see if we can keep it going. And this week's winner, congratulations, Avisco. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. DM me and I will get you your prize. You guys know the game though. If you don't watch the videos, you don't win the prize. Let's see if Avisco watches the videos. Alright everybody, I want to thank you once again for watching the video and supporting the channel. Like I said, 1500 is right around the corner. Let's get that subscriber count up. Be sure to check out my virtual mission briefings and my proscriptum guides playlist at least. Thanks a billion everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.